What's up guys, story time. You see this? This is what happens when you don't do the proper checks on your trailer tires. So I bought this camper used and when I was looking at it, uh, one of the selling points to me that they said it had brand new tires on it. Well, it did have brand new tires, so the rubber looked great, but little did I know that the tires that were on there were only rated for 2,000 pounds a piece. And this camper weighs 12,000 pounds when it's fully loaded. So four tires at 2,000 pounds a piece, that's 8,000 pounds. That means that my tires were overloaded by 1,000 pounds a piece. And that's why this happens. So I was driving down the road, headed on a trip, and I go over a bridge crossing. You know, there's little bumps and a little, little chucking going on. Um, and then I heard a super loud bang and it was this rear passenger tire on my camper blowing out. So I pulled off on the side of the road, get out of my truck to safely assess the situation. I see this carnage. I start losing it. I grab a pair of 10 snips out of my truck and I cut this off because I didn't want the banana peeled sheet metal to be flapping in the wind. Well, now I wish I was a little bit more calm in that situation and just tried to bend it back um, because now I have to find a replacement piece uh, for a camper from 2007. But just let that be a reminder to you that you need to check and be sure that your tires are rated for your camper and that they're ready to go for each of your trips. Cause that's not the only damage that happened uh, when my tire blew out. This happened too. It bent this angle iron and now my steps won't fold out. It also put a hole in my underbelly, which that's the subfloor right there. So these are all fixes I have to make, including this frame bracket here that's also destroyed. Um, these are all fixes I have to make because I didn't take the time to check out to make sure that my tires were rated for the camper that I had them on. So learn from my mistakes and please check your tires.